what's good it's Khalil Jamar hope that all is well with you guys if this is your first time on my channel welcome if this is not your first time on my channel welcome back the other day I'd seen a video of SSJ Bob bench pressing 485 pounds with ease and with a long pause but in watching this video I started to wonder how did SSJ Bob add this much weight and get this much stronger on the bench press now I've been following Bob for a while and I'm sure some of you have too so I know you remember it was just a couple of years ago that Bob was only bench pressing 380 pounds. And then within two years, on top of gyms being closed because of COVID, he was able to somehow add over 100 pounds on to his bench press. What's impressive about this is he was able to add on 30 pounds to his bench press within about a month. So September 24th, this is him bench pressing 455 pounds. Then on October 30th, this is him bench pressing 485 pounds. Some people don't even get to see that progress in a year, and he was able to see that type of progress within a month. So how did SSJ Bob do it? How did he add this much weight onto his bench press, especially with having pretty long arms? I did a little bit of research, and through the things that I found, I'm going to talk about them a little bit today. This is how I believe that SSJ Bob was able to add on so much weight onto his bench press. Now, one of the first questions that has to be addressed is, does arm length actually affect your bench? press and the answer is it depends on your muscle mass for example let's take another power lifter like john hack john hack has always been a pretty decent bench presser even with having long arms but his bench press didn't really blow up until he started to put serious mass onto his body and onto his arms you can see the difference between hack's arms and this picture where he was competing in the usapl and the ipf versus how his arms look now. Now his arm length of course didn't change, but the size of his arms did due to his increase in muscle, allowing him to get stronger on the bench press. And there are actually studies that show there's very little, if any, correlation between arm length and your performance on the bench press. So how does someone like SSJ Bob or John Hack bench press with long arms we just covered one way they add on more muscle both bob and hack have increased their body weight ssj bob started competing at 205 pounds while hack had started competing at 181 pounds bob now almost weighs 220 pounds and hack has gone up to about 198 pounds something else that you'll notice about these two power lifters is that they have incredibly strong legs now some of you may ask what does having strong legs have to do with the bench press well if you're bench pressing like a bodybuilder and mainly flat bench pressing it has very little to do with your bench press because the overall goal is not to push as much weight as possible but if you're a power lifter and you're looking to bench press as much weight as possible there are certain techniques that you do have to use one of them of course is creating an arch in your back the other is using leg drive the more leg drive one has the easier it's going to be for them to push the weight off their chest and if you look at hack and bob they have no problem at all getting the weight off their chest and their setup is actually pretty similar to each other now although they have great power in getting the weight off their chest one still has to lock out the weight in order for the rep to count now this is where people who have long arms do have an advantage on the bench press often those who bench press and have longer arms are more tricep dominant meaning that the lockout portion will probably be a little bit easier for them than it is for most people and if you look at the way that bob and hack bench press they do take a closer grip than most people do when benching especially when benching over 400 pounds yet they move way more weight on the bench press than most people do and progress consistently on the bench press so from doing a little bit of research this is what i was able to find i think that the two most important things is focusing on leg drive and making sure that you're emphasizing pushing your feet through the ground will help a lot of people with longer arms bench press more weight also building strong triceps and building upon the advantage that those with longer arms already have through exercises such as tricep extensions, uh, close grip bench press, and skull crushers, whether you're using dumbbells or the easy bar, it's going to help those with long arms bench press more weight. But guys, that is the end of the video. Thank you for watching. If you have any tips of your own, definitely leave them in the comment section. And if there's anything I missed or I got wrong, anything that you disagree or agree with, definitely leave that in the comment section as well. 
as always thank you for watching make sure that you do like the video make sure that you do subscribe to the channel i'll see you guys later